Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunawakaribisha sana kwa ibada ya siku ya leo ikiwa tarehe ine mwezi wa nne na ni siku ambayo wana PCA wa Idhaka Parish ni wakati wetu wa kushukuru Mungu Thanksgiving Sunday tukikumbuka kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo na wote ambao wanatutazama tunawakaribisha katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo ambapo tuna mchungaji wetu mchungaji Reverend Nehemiah Mburu ili tukaweze kubarikiwa kwa pamoja tutaanza na tenzi wimbo wa tenzi ni siku kuu siku ile na tutaanza kwa pamoja ni siku kuu siku ile ya kuoshwa dhambi zangu kuu na kuomba tu Ananiyo ngoza migu Siku ku, siku ku Ya kuoshwa dhambi zangu ku uh, Somo ambalo linatuongoza linatoka katika kitabu cha madhayo uh, Madhayo 28, mustari wa 5 na mustari wa 6 Ambapo bibiri inasema hivi but the angel said to uh, to women do not be afraid for i know that uh, for i know that you seek jesus who was crucified he is not here for he has risen as the as he said come and see the place where he uh, he laid uh wateni tuamini na tuombe tunakushukuru mwenyezi mungu ni kwa sababu wewe umwema Asante ni kwa sababu ya uaminifu wako. Asante ni kwa sababu ya ya siku ya leo wakati huu wa kusherekea kufufuka kwa, uh, kufufuka kwako. Asante bwana ni kwa sababu ya mambo mengi ambayo ulipitia ni kwa ajili yetu. Asante ni kwa sababu ya ibada ya siku ya leo tunaikabidhi mikononi mwako. Hali zote bwana ambazo tutazipoka uh, hali zote ambazo bwana tutaziendeleza katika ibada hii tunazikabidhi mikononi mwako. Kwa jina Yesu Kristo tuomba tukiamini. Amen. Kwa hivyo wakati huu tutasikia tukisomewa neno ambalo Bwana anataka tusikie. Karibu sana. Bwana asifiwe. Tutasoma katika kitabu cha Mathayo 28 moja hadi nane. Anasema hata sabato ilipokwisha ikapambazuka siku ya kwanza ya Juma. Mariamu Magdalena na Mariamu yule wa pili wakaelekea kulitazama kaburi. Na tazama palikuwa na tetemeko kubwa la inchi kwa sababu malaika wa Bwana alish, alishuka kutoka mbinguni akaja akarivigirisha lile jiwe akalikalia. Na sura yake ilikuwa kama umeme na mavazi yake meupe kama theruji. Na kwa kuogopa wale wali, walinzi waka, wakatetemeka wakawa kama wavu, wavu, wavu. Malaika akawaambia Malaika akajibu akawaambia wale wanawake msiogope nyinyi kwa maana najua najua ya kuwa mnamtafuta Yesu aliyesurubiwa Hayupo hapa kwani amefufuka kama alivyosema njooni mpatazame mahali alipolazwa naye nanyi nendeni upesi mkawaambie wanafunzi wake amefufuka katika wafu tazama tazama awata, awatanguliwe awatangulia kwenda galilia ni ndiko mtaka 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 ko muona naye akasema aka na haya nimesema waambie wakatoka upesi kutoka kutoka kari, kari, kabur, kaburini kwa, kwa hao kwa hofu na furaha nyingi wakaenda wakaenda mbio kuwapasha wanafunzi wake habari hilo ndilo leno la bwana 
Asanti, uh, asanti uh, our brother Murioki kwa sababu ya kutusomea vizuri hivyo. Kwa hivyo tutatayarisha mioyo yetu na wimbo wa tenzi 16 kumtegemea mwokozi kwa maana amefufuka kutoka kwa afu ili tukaweze kumtegemea sote kwa pamoja wakati tunaarika mchungaji. Kumtegemea mwokozi Kwangu tam kabisa kukubali neno lake nina ha moyoni Yesu Yesu na Atuombe, atuwa kushukuru mwenyezi mungu baba kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Asanti kwa sababu umefufuka. Asanti kwa sababu umeshida guvu zote za kifo kwa sababu wewe ni mungu. Na diyo mungu tunakuamini na tutakuishia kwa sababu ya kutueka huru. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na pia tumeamini. Amen. Pana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, tunamshukuru Mungu Baba uh, kwa sababu ya siku ya leo ni siku ya maana sana kwetu sisi wa Kristo hata sisi uh, watu wa Waidhaka Parish ni siku ya maana sana kwa sababu ni siku ya kurudisha shukrani na tunarudisha shukrani wakati Yesu amefufuka there is a reason to give thanks because Christ is the reason of the season. Wana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Tunapokuja kurudisha shukrani ni vizuri tujue ya kwamba jambo la kwanza ni kwa sababu Yesu amefufuka. Kule nyumbani ambao nimetoka wakati kama huu tulikuwa tunaimba wimbo ate Yesu timoku ale muoyo. Atoka igani tura muigua moto atoka muigua magoro atoka muigua hado hothe because Jesus is alive. Wana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hata kwetu tutasema Yesu amefufuka. Na tujiulize kwa nini Easter ama Easter Sunday ndio siku ile mzuri kabisa in the whole of the Passion Week. Mara nyingi tunasema ni Friday lakini wakati mwingine naona Sunday ni ya umuhimu zaidi. Kwa sababu kifo Bila kufufuka, haingekuwa na maana. Yesu angekufa na akatae kufufuka, hatunge pata maana ama thibitisho kamiri ya kwamba mu Yesu ni mungu. Lakini kufufuka na kushinda guvu zote za mauti, dizo zinathibitisha ya kwamba Yesu kweri ya mefufuka. Tunaona sasa hapa asubuhi, mire Magdarin, wakiwa pare kaburini wakienda kufanya mambo yale ya kawaida wanakuta the angel of god there malaika wa bwana pare arafu anawauliza ni kitu gani mnatafuta hapa najua ya kwamba wao walikuwa wanafanya mambo yale ambayo yalikuwa yanafanywa kila wakati wakati kuna ma maiti kutengeneza ile maiti Tunaona upande huu mwingine naye the Roman Empire walikuwa wamepanga wameweka askari ili Yesu asifufuke. Na walikuwa wanataka isionekane kama kuna kitu kimepangwa. Kime na pia jiwe lilikuwa kubwa sana ambalo lilikuwa limewekwa pale. Haya ni mambo ambayo yalikuwa vizuizi vya kuzuia Yesu asifufuke. Lakini hakuna kizuizi chochote ambacho kingeweza kuzuia guvu za Mungu kuonekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu hii mambo haikuwa mambo tu ya kawaida. Hata mawe, hata askari hawagezuia guvu za Mungu kuonekana. 
Isa is the most excellent day since creation. Kwa sababu wakati wa, ma, wa, wa creation, wakati mungu wa liuba, akategeneza mutu kwa mfano wake. Arafu mfano huo ukaharibiwa uka, uka, uka na dhambi. But Easter returned the creation the way it was. Ikarudisha mtu katika hari yake. It's only through the rising of Christ that man was restored where he used to be. Hapa tunaona ya kwamba dio hata nasi wa Kristo we worship God on Sunday because it's a day of resurrection. It's a day that we are given new hope. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ni kwa nini ni mambo gani tunaweza angalia juu ya uh, the rising of Christ? Easter nimesema ni siku ama ni wiki ya umuhimu sana. Ama ni occasion of great celebration because it places man back to his position. Inarejesha mtu katika hari yake abayo mungu arikuwa amepanga awe. It's only through the rising of Christ that man was restored. Praise be to God. Kwa hivyo, hakuna guvu yoyote abayo igeweza kuzuia mtu kurejesha mtu kwa sababu wakati Yesu alipofufuka aliturejesha katika mahali ambapo ni petu na bari ya pili ni ya kwamba sin or evil and it springs who satan was defeated unajua kifo kilikuwa kinajaribu kumzuia Yesu asitoke kule kuzimu lakini kwa guvu yake Mungu akashida kuzimu akashida setani mahari aliambia uh, yule ambaye walisurubiwa pamoja naye that today you will be with me in paradise victory of the cross was stamped at the resurrection kufufuka kwake Yesu kuli stamp the authority ya msaraba Msaraba bila kufufuka haungekuwa na guvu. Lakini msaraba as a sign of victory was stamped in the day of resurrection. Kwa hivyo kufufuka kwake Mungu anapofufuka tujue ya kwamba ndio kulileta huwa urejesho. The sting of the death ambayo ilikuwa inafanya ina watu waogope wa kifo ilimalizwa kama Paul alivyokuwa akiuliza kifo where is your sting the sting of death is sin na kwa sababu mwiba wa, 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 wa mauti um, ni dhambi naye Mungu akaondoa huo mwiba that sting of death so ndio unaona even the stone would not prevent Christ from resurrecting najua wakati wa Easter Tunajua ya kwamba hata nasi tukiwa na mateso hata nasi tukipitia maboma magumu one day we shall also be victorious kuona Yesu alishida mauti na kifo we have hope hata wakati kuna magojwa hata wakati tunapitia majuto we know that we shall come out victorious because as followers of Christ Anasema hata nasi ikiwa tunataka kumfuata we carry the cross and follow him. Since Christ was won the race, hata nasi tutashida. You know, Easter deal with eternal life because Christ died for us all so that we can have eternal life. Kama vile John 3:16 inasema. It is about eternal life. Sio tu tuweze kushida na kukaa vizuri hapa duniani, lakini tuweze kupata kuwa uzima wa milele na tukipata uzima wa milele we become heirs sisi tunakuwa warithi wa ufalme wa Mungu kama Yesu akaambia wanafunzi wake ya kwa I go to the father but I will come for you ili mahari niko na nyinyi muwe hapo because we are sons we are sons and daughters of our father who is at heaven Easter demonstrate the great love of Christ that he has for us najua ni upendo 
sio kufanya kazi Waisraeli walikuwa wanajaribu kumfikia Mungu kwa kutoa dhabihu kwa, kuto, kwa kufanya kazi jema wakajaribu kumfikia Mungu lakini Yesu alikuja na akawa hizo dhabihu akajitolea kwa hivyo sio kazi tulifanya but because of the grace of God so Easter is demonstration of the great grace of God Easter is the center of Christian faith without Easter Sunday there is no Christianity bila kufufuka hakuna ukristo kwa hivyo ndio tunapo celebrate the risen, the risen Christ it gives us hope that also us we shall arise hata tukiwa hapa ulimwenguni na tupitia mambo magumu namna gani ama mambo mazuri namna gani one day we shall die but we have hope that since Christ also rose up at anasi tutafufuka Easter demonstrate that Jesus was God John 11 verse 27 Peter hapa anasema I believe that you are Messiah the son of God kwa hivyo Easter demonstrate that Jesus was God and that was very important that Jesus was not just somebody who came to this world but he is God and he is coming again now as the king of kings kuchukua ware abao ni wake and we see the power of God being demonstrated when Christ rose up kwa hivyo ni sisi kama wa Kristo kujua ya kwamba hata tunapopitia mambo mazito namna gani yote yalimalizika pale kafare we have success we have victory because Christ is now with us Christ is now a spirit whenever we call upon him through the holy spirit he will act hata mambo yale aba unapitia mazito namna gani we believe that the power of the cross the power of the blood of Jesus will act katika maisha yako aba unapitia mambo mazito namna gani god is in control in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit na tuombe baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ulishida yote ulishida dhabi zote pale msalabani ukashida kivo na ukashida kuzimu na sasa umefufuka we celebrate a risen christ we celebrate you father kwa sababu tunajua sasa tuko na uhai. Tuko na kesho ambayo ni jema. Hata tukipitia mambo namna gani. Wengine wanaogopa ugonjwa wa COVID. Wengine tunaogopa maisha haya. But Lord we have a future because hata tukifa we have hope of a better tomorrow. May God be with us. May God bless us. May God give us that hope. Tusimame tuweze sasa kusema neema yake Bwana. Now in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, go in peace. And may the peace of God that surpasses human understanding be with us and fill us with his peace, with his goodness, with his mercies from now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. God bless you so much. May you have a good Easter uh, uh, Sunday as we also give thanks to God for his goodness and his mercies. God bless you.